so yeah, great on paper. This is a great product, right? You know, this is going to, it seems very promising. You know, it seems like it's going to be great. You know, this is a commercial. They make it seem like, oh, it's just, it's so good. It's, oh, just, you can just drink it all day. Because when this product is marketed to someone who's uneducated, they're going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to give me some of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But to the educated person who understands there's the marketing side of it, you know, but then there's the actual truth of it. All right, welcome back y'all with another one. If you saw my last video, I did pros and cons of these right here. This is from the Ambrosia Collective, Planta, Nectar, Kinetic, and Mental Jewels. But today I'm gonna be doing Kachava because I'm in the middle of a body transformation to gain 15 pounds to like the main characters in that new movie, Creed 3. So Jonathan Majors and Michael B. Jordan. You know, you've seen what these guys are like. They're, they're in tremendous shape. And I'm testing out different products because you know you see all kinds of advertisement, you know, from, from what seem to be good sources. And if you're curious about trying some of these products, hopefully this gives you some kind of insight, all right? So I'm gonna move these out the way because those are done. Right, get them out of here. Get them out. All right, Kachava. I'm gonna give you a disclaimer. First off, you gotta be careful how you open this thing because I opened it backwards and now the front of it is ripped and the little, the little zipper seal is ripped and I can't reseal it. There's a little thing that you pull, did you tear it? I know you're supposed to pull it, but I pulled it, I pulled it from the front. You're supposed to pull it from the back. So let's dive deep into this thing. I'm only gonna be doing a one part of this product because I've only taken half of this product, but I can already tell some of the positives and some of the very important negatives, you know, of this product right here. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. And if this is your first time viewing one of my videos, welcome to Slay Edge Media. Not only do I do product reviews, but I also break down the very important science of things like nutrition. So if you don't understand the concept of alkaline foods versus acidic foods, or if you don't understand what H3O2 is, the fourth phase of water, or if you don't understand the benefits of hydrogen and how fundamentally it is a crucial element to your body, your body's everyday function, not just for you to function every day, but for you to thrive every day. So you can't just live, but to help you thrive, all right? You get that, you know what I'm saying? Because I talk about anti-cancer research as well, so stay tuned. So if you're seeing this right here, you've probably seen that commercial or the ad, you know, the old dude on the surfboard, you know, people, these young people, running through the woods, you know, they got it in their sh protein shaker, you know, and, and it's supposed to be for people on the go. It's all organic meal replacement, et cetera, et cetera. Let me be brutally honest with you about this, all right? First, I'm gonna talk about the positives, all right? I'm not gonna get into complete negatives, all right? <laughs> because I don't wanna just seem like this product is completely bad, all right? But I do have alternatives, and in the future, in my next video, not only will I be sharing the alternatives to the products from Ambrosia Collective, which are superior single ingredient organic supplements, but also I'll be sharing an alternative to this right here, all right? So, I'm gonna read this right here. This is a blend of organic superfoods and plant-based proteins inspired by ancient wisdom. All of your essential nutrients in one, the whole body meal. Whole body meal. So what does that say? That means vitamins, minerals, fat, protein. Uh, it's supposed to be almost everything that the body needs, right? And in some senses, this is true, all right? But the thing I don't like about it, it only covers some of the things you need and it only covers the things that you need from a certain perspective, all right? But we'll get into that in a minute. Something I noticed that's similar from this and the Ambrosia Collective is this whole ancient wisdom. On here, it says verbatim, look, ancient wisdom, modern methods is the tiny little font here. It's like the fretting on here on the Ambrosia Collective. On all three of the black the black bottles, it says ancient wisdom, modern method, methods. So ancient wisdom, Ancient Wisdom, are they both by Ambrosia Collective? Like what's, hold on, let me check the, no, this is Kachava.com. Those are, feel free to check those out, AmbrosiaCollective.com. These are Kachava.com. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go over the back, all right? So Kachava is vegan, gluten-free, no soy, no dairy, no artificial, no preservatives, you know, because all those things have negatives, you know. Soy affects your hormones in a negative way. Dairy affects your body, your cells in a negative way. Artificial sweeteners and colors affect your body in a negative way. Preservatives, negative. 
gluten negative. But us as humans, you know, we're, we're miraculous machines. We, we have the ability to adapt over thousands of years, all right? So some of that stuff, you can take it and not, you know, not affect you too bad if you're doing things a per certain way, all right? So the good thing I like about this is 100% plant-based. 240 calorie meal, MCTs and omegas, so that's healthy fats, six grams of fiber, you know, it's got that in there, 25 grams of protein, 26 essential vitamins and minerals, 100% plant-based, I repeats it over here, 1,000 M grams of adaptogens, antioxidants, 17 greens and veggies, probiotics. So yeah, great on paper, this is a great product, right? You know, this is going to, it seems very promising. You know, it seems like it's going to be great. You know, this is a commercial. They make it seem like, oh, it's just, it's so good. It's, oh, you could just drink it all day. All right. No, okay. I'm joking. <laughs> but it comes in like a, you know, eco-friendly bag. It's instead of some big old huge container that takes up your whole trash can, you know. You know, it's got, like I said, ancient wisdom, you know, because the ancients understood that plants are the best for the human body. You got to consider things like your digestive tract, right? Your intestine tract. You know, humans have a longer digestive tract compared to something that's a meat eater. We're omnivore. I mean, we can eat meat and plants, all right? But just because we can doesn't mean we should abuse it like most people do, all right? So, yes, on paper, it does seem very great. You know, it's it should seem very promising. But let me share with you the reasons why I don't 100% feel like this is a great product all right now well, let me let me be clear this is a great product for someone who's trying to take strives towards health all right you know because compared to getting mickey d's or burger king this is going to be much better it's got at least the intention is going towards a positive outcome right and you got vitamins minerals you know you, you know no dairy no soy you know so as far as alternatives Yes, it's a great stepping stone type of product, but it's not the best thing because there are some drawbacks. Now, like I said right here, six grams of fiber. I'll say this. When you get a fresh fruit or vegetable and you eat it raw or even cooked, the fiber that's inside there is still in its original state, you know, so it's still like uh, literally a fiber, you know, still instead of being this, this is a fine powder. Your fiber in this can't do its job properly. Granted, it has fiber in there, but its original form has been changed from being what a fiber is supposed to be to this powder fiber. So it used to be fiber, but now it's a different form of fiber, so it can't really do what fiber is supposed to do. Are you comprehending what I'm saying? All right. So going back to the front, a blend of organic superfoods and plant-based plant base ingredients plant-based proteins so it doesn't say it's all organic but there is some organic stuff in there all right you got to think about this i'm trying to i'm trying to break this down for people so who can understand organic means something that's in its original state given to you and there it is boom so if it's got protein in here it, sh it should have this thing should be filled with fruits and vegetables right it should be filled with uh, rice or it should be filled with peas if it's got pea protein you know, if it's got nuts it should be filled with nuts there should be a whole bunch of that stuff and that's organic okay now it's not that i have a problem with powder or anything like that it's just that something should be powder and something shouldn't okay you know like i'd say like spirulina is awesome in a powder form it still is able to provide plenty of benefits but what i notice along my 13 plus years of experience, you know, with this kind of thing, health and fitness industry. I'm the type of person who's been able to find benefits without taking a whole bunch of supplements. Because of what I realize, when you get a whole bunch of freeze dried ingredients, it's better to have quality versus quantity. Right here is a whole list of all this organic stuff that's in there, et cetera, et cetera. But you're only getting little bits of, you know, say like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's all organic, but you only get little bits of all this stuff, you know? So instead of getting a whole bunch of benefits, you're getting a little bit of benefits from a wide range of things. And the way that this stuff mixes up in water, it's kind of like you gotta, you're got you going to need like a blender or you're going to need like a protein shake, shaker thing, you know, one of those little metal balls in there just to be able to get it mixed up. Sorry for ranting, but I just, uh, my experience with this isn't as, as great as I was hoping it was going to be, you know. I had high, high expectations for this, especially for this costing between $60 and $90, depending on where you get it, all right? <laughs> for $60 to $90, I could get a whole bunch of my alternatives that I'm going to share with you 
and it'd be able to last for three times as long as this, you know? Because this only comes with 15 servings. So that's 15, I guess, meals, you know? But the thing that I don't like about this, I'm, now I'm gonna start going to the negatives. First off, the way that makes you feel. When you take this, all the ingredients in there, when they absorb the water, it's almost like they kind of like do this expanding thing slightly. It's, and then when it gets inside your gut, it causes like a, instead of your, you know, when you, when you go to eliminate, you go to use the bathroom, it should be smooth. Almost, almost like this stuff thickens up. It, it thickens up inside you. And I noticed that when I went to use the bathroom, my poop was a little bit, let's say, uh, thicker than usual. And I didn't like that. I like myself smooth. You know, when you go to clean yourself, it should be easy cleaning process. I'm not, I know, you know, a couple years, if you don't want to hear it, this is the truth. All right. Opposed to superior choices that I would have made, you know, you can see some of the choices I make in my previous videos based on, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables, plant ingredients, you know, when you, when you use the bathroom, it shouldn't be, it, it shouldn't be to the point to where stuff is left behind. You know, I could tell that if your stuff is coming out kind of like peanut butter, that means stuff is being left inside your gut. Everything is not coming out. If it's not coming out smooth, that means stuff is getting left behind, all right? And when stuff is getting left behind, that means less digestion is able to take place, right? When I say digestion, I mean absorption of nutrients that's inside your gut. Absorption of nutrients is how you actually, because your health is in your gut because all the food that goes in your gut, you know, when it breaks down inside that long line of intestinal tract, it has to break it down and then it absorbs the nutrients through your cell wall, through through the wall of your intestines. That's how it absorbs it. So when you got old food caked up on there, on the it's like a layer, that's like a layer on the outer wall of your intestines that's stopping nutrition from getting through. So what happens? A whole bunch more food gets wasted. So this doesn't aid in any digestion, you know? If anything, this is just to, to get you through. Yes, yes, I would say that you could use this for, like, like I said, if you're on the go and you got nothing else. Because there's plenty of other ingredients that's in here that would be better if you consumed it fresh because at least it would still support digestion. Let me tell you something. A lot of fruits and vegetables share the same benefits. Now, just because pineapple has bone lane is one of, and one of its main benefits is anti-inflammatory, that doesn't mean that just because blueberries are higher antioxidants, you know, those are more known for, you know, that's more that's one of those anti-cancer foods. That doesn't mean that blueberries can't be used for anti-inflammatory as well. Because once you understand the science of how to remove inflammation throughout your body, then you understand that the same principle can be applied through multiple fruits and vegetables. And you can learn it on my channel. It's called H302. It's basically the absorption of hydrogen. If you can boost your hydrogen in your body, then you can relieve symptoms like inflammation, gut pain, IBS, joint pain, etc. The list goes on and on. But that's not what this video is about. This that's another subject for another conversation. All right. Now another thing I don't like about this product is the flavor. I got vanilla. I thought I picked chocolate, but apparently I ordered vanilla accidentally. And I like vanilla too. I'm not even that big of a fan of chocolate. I just thought that maybe chocolate we have like a better flavor. But this vanilla it kind of tastes like it definitely tastes very like grainy. It has like a, it doesn't taste very, very good. Now it does say natural vanilla flavors on here in the other ingredient section. And also it's six grams of sugar in this thing. So I'm surprised the flavor doesn't taste too good. But I think it's because all the, the yellow pea protein, organic whole grain brown rice protein, it's got amaranth, quinoa, oats, chia, flax seeds. It's got a whole bunch of seeds, oats, grains, that kind of stuff in there. And you can definitely taste it. You can definitely feel it when you drink it. It has like a, a grainy feel when you, when you taste it. So I'm like, no wonder I noticed a disruption in my digestion ability because this stuff, it's almost like it clogs you up. The sad thing is some people won't even notice the difference because of the, the food that they eat. Because, but because I'm on like this, I'm on like a totally different level with my food and nutrition. I found natural ways to boost my testosterone without taking steroids like a lot of these other people do. You know, I found ways to be able to heal and reduce inflammation. You know, I study anti-cancer properties, all this other stuff, you know, all things that are beneficial for my body because I believe in longevity. You know, I also know what my body 
what what good digestion feels like. I know what what it feels like to have good digestion inside your gut. And this kind of it kind of like halts that halts that a little bit. That's one thing I don't like. I don't like the halting process that this puts on your body. Now, granted, the intention of this thing is to give you all these premium source ingredients, but a lot of this stuff in here is better fresh. Like if you can get some actually fresh quinoa, you know, actually actually fresh peas, you know, actually brown brown rice, coconut, you know, actual coconut, you know, just just eat some carrots, eat eat tomatoes, parsley, organic br- Brussels sprouts, celery, just just eat that stuff. Instead of putting it in a powder form, because you're taking it from its original form and turning it into something else. You see, things are much more beneficial when they're in their original state. So not to say that powders are not good, but what I'm saying is if you're going to take a powder, take a powder that you wouldn't eat, all right? For me, one example is spirulina. Because spirulina is hard to get, but at the same time, it's very, very beneficial. If you're going to take a supplement, supplements like spirulina are one of the best ones. Versus, uh, like, I wouldn't take tomatoes supplements or celery supplements, rice supplements. You can eat that stuff. Just eat it. Just eat it. It's going to be much beneficial for you, and it's still going to be able to be live because you want, because a lot of people, they're going to get this, and they're going to look at this because whole body meal. Oh, I'm just going to take nothing but this. And like I said, a lot of people won't even notice the difference because a lot of the food that they're eating already is already seasoned up their digestion. If you're eating a lot of food that has no fiber, so if you're eating like Mickey D's, Wendy's, Burger King, all that stuff all the time, and your gut is all clogged up anyway, you know, you're, you're pooping peanut butter all the time anyway, you're probably not even really going to notice a difference. That's the sad thing. Like I said, it's a brutally honest review. Now, am I going to get this product again? No. Honestly, it's halfway through, and that's and I've had this as over a month. I've had this, yeah, I've had this over a month, and I still haven't even really gone through it too much. I took it a few times, and I started noticing the side effects of it right away. And I'm kind of like, I don't even really like taking it because not only does it kind of clog you up, but also at the same time, it doesn't mix very well. So unless you mix it like in a blender, then you get, if you don't mix it up properly, you're gonna be drinking really chunky drink. As well as it gives you gas, it, at least for me. I noticed I wasn't getting gas like that until I started drinking this stuff. You start taking this, you're going to notice the difference. Because think about this way. The stuff that comes out, the way it smells, is a reflection of what's going on inside. All right? So if the stuff that's coming out of you is smelling like horrible, like, oh, it smells like war. Imagine what's going on inside there. All right? The same thing with the, with the stuff. If you're creating gas, gas is a byproduct of a chemical reaction, right? So you got the, all this stuff in there that's going on. It's like, it's making a byproduct of gas. Same reason why you burp when you eat certain food because the your, your body's natural composition plus the composition of this stuff is like they mix together and it's almost like they clash. So it's like, you're like, oh, snap. It's a byproduct, it's gas, air, you burp. And then later, you're gonna it's gonna come out the back too. It's gonna, you're gonna be blowing out all kinds of air. You know, and then another side effect is, you know, leaving a little residue because I believe in having your gut clean, you know, because I don't I personally don't want colon cancer. I don't like the idea of having IBS. You know, some people suffer from that. But at the same time, if you look at the food that they're eating and, you know, their daily habits, it's like they're signing, they're signing themselves up for IBS. You're signing yourself up for joint pain. You're signing yourself up for disruption in your gut. You're signing yourself up for bad digestion within your gut. All right. That's what this channel is about. It's about shedding light on the dark subject, you know, because when this product is marketed to someone who's uneducated, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to give me some of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But to the educated person who understands, you know, there's the marketing side of it, you know, but then there's the actual truth of it. You know, where you're really going to get the benefits is eating fresh fruits and vegetables, the stuff that's, if you look at the, the organic ingredients on here now, just go to kachava.com and you can see all the ingredients because my camera's not going to be able to show you all this right here. Things like cucumber, celery, green pepper, Brussels sprouts, tomato, chlorella, just eat that stuff. Cauliflower, just eat that stuff. It's going to be better than this. Like, and even if you're on the go, if you want, take some, take some grapes with you, take some kiwi, mango, pineapple, it's going to give you energy. It's going to it's going to make you feel much better. It's going to help clean out your gut instead of help clog up your gut. All right. It's going to help 
relieve tension inside of your gut and so add to it all right it's going to pump h3o2 through your body because that's one of the main things that you need hydrogen doesn't just support your body's function but it helps your body's functions to thrive all right so if you're someone who's interested in the best type of supplements you could take as far as single ingredient organic multi-beneficial supplement then make sure you stay tuned for my next video coming up soon and make sure you do your own research as well don't forget to subscribe i got more content coming soon catch you guys in the next one peace Thank you.